What's up everybody, Kalfk here, and today we are going over probably the last PTR build in the series of Save the Sorcerer. We're going to talk about the whole PTR in our next video and go over what we thought and what, what could change, what needs to be better, what is good, and uh, we'll go over everything at that time. So today what we're doing is we're going over the Hydra Terrell's Might build. It actually works... It could use some buffs. It could use a couple things to make it a little bit stronger, but it's not a bad build. So let's go in to the pit and I will explain a couple things that this build does. And it's a straight Hydra, all space blades, and a Shaco would be better, but I accidentally deleted it on the PTR. So I don't have a Shaco on. So we are just using a Hydra plus the skills helmet but it's okay. So one of the probably most visually appealing builds when you start putting all these hydras out, it looks freaking awesome. And the Terrell's Might is really helping with clearing actual mobs that come out. I do use Ice Blades Enchant. The reason why is because you want the extra conjure mastery damage so you need as much conjures up as possible there's probably ways to get more up with lightning spear i didn't mess around with that too much but i would think that an all conjure build will work it just needs a little bit of help and from a couple aspects a little bit more damage we did get a little buff to the burning damage but it's still not burning to where we could uh, say it's like a, a tier A build or something like that, but because it's still going to take a while to, to clear this tier 100 pit, which I would think like when a build's pretty good. Well, first of all, the pit's a little messed up here, so it takes a little longer. But when a build's pretty good, you should be able to clear tier 100 in three to four minutes. That's when you're like, oh, this build is actually doing some work. And I think that's when you're like, I can roll with this build because it's actually fast to farm for materials because we know that pit materials, oh my gosh, the, the master working materials is just, it's just a grind to get. And I'm a little, a little sad that they didn't give us master working materials in the PTR so I could text, test this at full potential. So right here, we're still eight out of 12 on a few things because yeah, we grind in season four to get 12 out of 12 and everything. Do we really want to grind in a PTR to get everything? That's really right. So I was deleting some gear to to use some of that material, but they should have just gave us full master working so we could really test it. So this is kind of cool because there's a new feature for Hydra where you get casted Hydras have four heads or this one has five heads because I got two rolls into it. I think you could go up to six. So I think you could get 12 extra heads and you could have four Hydras out. It looks like it's gonna be the most because I use the Hydra enchant along with the Ice Blades, which sometimes I forget to click. So I gotta, I gotta get better at that because Ice Blades does come up pretty quick. So you always gotta click Ice Blades to get more damage. It's up again, about to be up again. So it's pretty good. But you can see like I'm already at three minutes in and I'm not even halfway halfway done yet even though the density is a little goofy they did mess up the density in the pits so that's something that is on the list to fix but you could tell that it's a cool fun build but it just still needs needs a bit of damage so i'd say if we could get another 20 percent damage on hydra i did try hydra without burning and it is absolutely trash so that needs like 50% damage, but for burning, I would say 20 is pretty good. 20% damage increase would help out a ton. I also think that this right here, this aspect should give like 20x damage to, to conjurations. So this is the battle casters aspect. And then when we get higher ranks, so I get like 15 ranks of Hydra right now, once that's popped off, but I think that item actually works pretty good, but it needs some kind of damage modifier on it to, to help this build. So unless they make some unique that works with Hydra, that would be cool to see a unique that works with some of the summons. I don't think we even have any uniques that really work with summon abilities so maybe that's something that they could take a look into 
because right now it's just straight up. It's not even a core skill, so it's hard to actually get plus stats to uh, Hydra as well. So, but those two things increase burning. I think that the torch Paragon node, I could show that in a second, but I don't want to die. So you could just leave because I am immobilizing a lot. I took the, the words off so we don't see it, but I am immobilizing a lot. The more Hydras you cast help the Terrell's Might do more damage. I'm not sure why you have to keep casting Hydra, but it does help. All right, we'll put a bunch of these up and then we'll go look at the Paragon tree. So the tree has, where's Torch at? Oh, are you trying to get me? Dude, they got through the wall of Hydras, baby. Get out of me. Torch right here. So if this did, I would say like up to 12.5, this seems to be up to like 20% burning damage. Like, that's not that much. Give us a little bit more burning damage. That will help a lot of the other burning builds too if Torch was buffed. So they raised it by 0.5. What do they think that's going to do? That's not going to do anything. But uh, one of the most said <laughs> visually appealing builds for sure. I'm able to be a little bit more tanky in this build too because I got damage reduction on my helm. I got damage reduction on my pants. I got the, the Taro's Might got damage reduction on it. You could even do boots with damage reduction. But uh, we went with Asus because in the crits, moving fast. I think it's cool to move fast in this build too because you, know, you don't have to be in the mix of the fight. I could, I could run around while my Hydras are killing stuff. So they don't have to be close. I could just cast them, cast them, run away. They'll do work eventually. It's just not enough burning damage yet. We shouldn't take this long, especially when you're only getting 60 material. 60 material. How many times we really want to reset our items to try to get the perfect roll. And you can't keep resetting it because it's like, Man, I just wasted an hour of farming because I reset my item because I didn't get what I wanted. And now I have to farm for another hour to try to get. It's probably even longer than that, man. It's even... Maybe it probably takes. Well, especially if you're playing this build, you're going really slow. But if you could do it in three to four minutes, that's like armor hour of farming one to 12 on one piece of gear. And then you you're, you might want you're probably going to want to reset it because it's really hard to get what you want every single time you're going to reset it from four four to zero and eight to zero a bunch of times so i wish they would change that and that's something we're going to talk about too is let them know that we should be able to reset master working down to like four or reset it to eight not have to reset it to zero every time i think that would be very beneficial look at this six minutes it's such a cool build give it some more damage you'll be okay i promise I tried this with fireball. I tried this with meteor. It's just, there's not enough skill points to make it work the way you'd want to make it work. So we don't know yet. I really hope that there is some kind of seasonal power this season because right now we are looking weak. We got to save the sorcerer, man. We got, and I don't want to just get it a seasonal power that makes me strong. I want to have a, a good base stat line for the Sork. And I don't know if we're going to get it, man. I don't know if we're going to get it. You got to run in and out so he doesn't have a gazillion life. I think this build would also be good for PvP, though. What's up, Chief? Bossing is actually pretty good, too, on this. Because you could get the stacks up pretty high. That's 13 milli stacks. Let's see how high we get. 17, 18, 22, 24, 26. So bossing's not bad. We'll give it that. We'll give the bossing some love. But yeah, wave packs. There's got to be something else we could do with it. I mean, two-ended staff would be better. I mean, try that. That's something we could try. But a couple things. First, I think that this Paragon node or this um, skill needs a big buff that needs to go up double so i would say that needs to go 60 percent. so maybe we don't want to play burning you could play this and then you could still have a good time on hydra i think this needs to go up another 20 percent, so 120 percent of its base damage over six uh six seconds and then lucky hit chance i know there's this but i would normally use a shako so i wouldn't have lucky hit there i could put a lucky hit on the pants i've didn't have it on this one so i, I could put it on the neck as well so I think that at least give us a decent more lucky hit chance than 4%. I think this could be baseline 8, give it double. So first change, invoke the Hydra lucky hit chance, and then give 20% damage to 
increase to summon Hydra. Then we need to go to the Paragon Tree, increase Torch damage to 20% cat. That would be a huge increase and would help out a ton. So I think that was the majority of what I would like to see uh, in the Hydra build. I, I do enjoy it. I think it's a really nice build. I think it's a lot of fun. It just takes too long to clear like regular wave packs right now. So that is the Hydra build. We got season five coming. The next video, like I said, we're going to have all the notes covered of what we think of the PTR and um, want to see going forward. So give me a thumbs up. Give me a like, subscribe, and uh, I will see you guys in the ne next video. Thank you.